I'm very proud to sit here right now and tell you that I have been by misfit. At 100 years old, Rose Brown has experienced many things in her life. But finally being able to celebrate her bat mitzvah with 11 other girls, as she calls them, from her community here at the Jack Satter House in Revere, well, she says that's at the top of the list. I just feel closer to God, and I feel that I would like to be a better person. It was an equally significant milestone for all 12 of these women, the opportunity to be recognized as an adult in the eyes of their Jewish faith was not always an option when they were younger teenagers. There's a reason that God does things, and I do believe that it was our time to celebrate our bat mitzvah during the pandemic. Marlene Bloom and her fellow celebrants' time to achieve that recognition was not an easy one. During the height of the COVID-19 outbreak, the Jack Satter house was hit particularly hard. Residents were on lockdown, and their Hebrew classes needed to be shifted to the telephone. Committing to it to begin with was a big step, and then recommitting once the pandemic hit our building was a tremendous step. Rabbi Lior Niveau says something remarkable took place during their journey. During a time where everything seemed unrecognizable, she says one thing stood strong, their faith in God and each other. The one thing was recognizable, and that was our group coming together in the afternoon, studying texts, dealing with issues that they dealt with 2,000 years ago, and that was going on outside right now. There was a 13th member of this group who sadly passed away due to complications from COVID-19. But the ladies pressed on with their studies and in the process inspired an entire community that has been through so much over the past six months. In Revere, I'm Doug Meehan, WCVB News Center 5.